Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my Sword Art Online Alicization Reactions. So, I'll be watching episode 15 now. Um, so, last one was really interesting because we got to see them fighting this Integrity Knight, uh, the Crimson one. And apparently it was the, the Integrity Knight uh, who took Alice away in the first episode, I believe. Um, so, that was quite interesting to know and like it made sense after they explained uh, like why he looks so different. So uh, Quinella basically had to do it. So he wouldn't find find it like suspicious to see Elise as an integrity knight after he just like took her away as a like a sinner. So yeah, that was basically just so they wouldn't like find something suspicious about it. Um. Anyway. After all of that, uh, they gave him like a choice. Uh, he has a choice to go back to Quinella and maybe like like remain an integrity knight. Who knows? And like uh, opposing again against Kirito and Eljo. Uh But he also has a choice to fight against the system. Like after learning the truth. So yeah. Uh, I'm expecting that guy to eventually help them. I don't know how, but that would be nice. Uh, but yeah, they are apparently like climbing to the 15th floor, I believe. Um, and there's apparently lots of Integrity Knights waiting for them, and apparently way stronger as well. So, I have no idea what's going to happen, they were just talking that the uh, uh, Cardinal basically gave them this this these commands to enable them to perform those special uh, powers with their weapons uh, and yeah apparently they they imply that uh, Eugeo's one is probably going to be more of a defensive one and Kirito is probably going to be more like a, a, an offense one uh, but they are now like uh, in front of these two girls and I have no idea who they are or what they want but uh, they basically showed that they have these small daggers as well. So I'm like thinking if it might be related to the daggers uh, daggers that uh, Cardinal gave them. So I wonder if it has like the same power and if they're like eventually going to attack them. But yeah, I'm probably going to learn that with this episode. So I hope you guys are ready and let's start it. They look cute, but yeah, I don't know if I should trust her, uh, them. Oh. Oh, they know. On the dark territory. Hmm. It didn't come from there, so. Are they going to attack them? Yeah. The books. All right. These girls. Hmm. 
they're so adorable, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Oh no, it started. I knew it. I was suspicious. 28. So they are integrity knights. I, it was like really suspicious for them to have those weapons. And them specifically showing us that, that so... I was I, I was always suspicious. They look really cute and so, but hmm, that just happened. But I wonder if the dagger actually has that power, um, like the same as the cardinal ones, or if it's just like a simple dagger. Probably not, though. Second opening is also really good, but yeah, I still prefer the first one. Oh, this spoiler though. I mean, it's not really a spoiler since it's probably the number one, or maybe not the number one, or or is it? Should be number one integrity knight. They're actually enemies. It was already suspicious for them to be out. Yeah. Is this why he was saying that they were dangerous? Like, just tricking them? Hmm. Going to happen though. Oh, okay. I was wondering why did they fall like that easily? Holy shit. That would be nice to know, yes. Board and raised. Holy shit. They killed each other. Really? And I'm happy. This is really deserving. I feel like the, the, this Quinell is probably related to so, to someone in the real life. It's like. They're trying to create... What? Exploded.
You are the only ones left. Damn. That's so messed up. Hmm. And the way they talk, like, all happy. Oh my god, this is so messed up. They don't even care about killing. It's like the thing... That Asna was telling before, like, they're trying to make characters capable of killing. Man, it's right here. They don't feel any regret about killing. Synthesis 2. Hmm. All right, then someone needs to stop them. Always smiling, like. Hmm. Oh, how did he do that? The poison didn't work on him. He was the last one to get attacked, so maybe he prevented it somehow. Oh, that's the antidote. It just got fucked. Okay, I want to know how he broke free of that paralysis. Yes. Yeah, what were they doing there? Yeah, exactly. Good point. Hmm, okay. Right. Oh, that's why... Uh, that's why I did it. I didn't hit him. Yeah, they are strong. And do, it's like the second one there. I don't know if that influences yeah, it's like their power, but probably not. Just like a ranking. They're probably stronger, but yeah, they all are. Damn. Uh. 
not even moving. For Whirlwind Blades? His music. Of course, here we go. Oh, he's doing it too. We did him. Damn. Oh, it was his like headgear. His foot. And they feel pain there. So yeah. Oh, he needs to start doing it. Yeah. I wonder what his power looks like. We know it's probably like a defensive one, but I don't know how. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, we do. It's probably really strong. That's insane. That is really insane, but really cool. Um, that looked like something else. Oh, there goes the mask. Wait, what? Wait. That man. I don't think that makes a difference. Hmm. Yeah, like... Yeah, like... He doesn't care if you're a woman or not, like... Being a woman doesn't mean you're weaker. Yep. Nice. Damn. Oh, but they're enjoying it, like... Kinda having fun. Like fighting at their best. Damn. 
detestable. Why? What? Yeah, like... I mean, we know that something happened, but... Yep. They don't remember, but they had a life before this. Yep. In the wrong way, though. It's just being used. Holy shit. Those skills, though. Got it again. Oh, even her? Wait, what's happening? She's trying, like, to... Sacrifice herself to beat them. We're going to see the skill. Oh, it's like a trap skill. Yep, that counter. So that basically imprison imprisons them. It's like a trap skill. Yuving art. Feel bad for her though. It's like she doesn't value her life at all. Um. Yep. That's war, though. Yep. That's his skill. Well, we're gonna have to wait for the next one to watch it. But that was crazy. I don't fully understand what exactly happened there, like when everyone was getting hit by those like attacks from her, her swords. But it it kinda implied that she was like trying to take them down and like even if she died along with it. That was yeah, messed up. I mean, this entire episode was so messed up. With, the, with those two girls, they're just basically tools. And they were created just to kill, which is... And always with that smile in their face. That's really sad.
I was like wondering about who they were. Like they looked really adorable, but still suspicious. And yeah, apparently they really were uh, like an enemy. And really sucks because these integrity knights don't even know what they're fighting for. I mean, they're just like tools of Queen Ella. And they don't even have their original memories, just uh, made up ones. Osmantus Knight. Oh, yeah. I have no idea what that is, but we'll see. Anyway, really curious to see what uh, Kirito's skill looks like, like the uh, weapon en enhancement. But it's probably going to look really cool. And I mean, th that blue sword uh, skill, that blue rose sword, holy shit, that looked insanely good. I mean, I was expecting it to be more of uh, like a, a defensive skill, but apparently it's not. It's it's mostly like a, like a, a crowd control skill. Uh, like, I should probably use that term, I, I don't know. It basically just uh, traps uh, the people. It, it, it's... Uh, and yeah, I mean, that girl probably can't move, uh, I mean, she can still move her sword. And we are probably going to see the closer of this fight in the next episode. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what kind of skill Kirito is going to use. It's probably going to look really awesome, like I said. Mm, but yeah, either way, you just uh, weapon enhancement. That was really sick, and the effect of all of that ice, like, trapping them, that was really well made. And yeah, that girl's uh, sword was like really, like really powerful. Like I really loved how they showed us the way they made it, like uh, how Quinella made that sword. Uh, it was pretty sick. Uh, but yeah, uh, I mean, I'm still thinking about that part when she was like, uh, he removed her mask, uh, like her headgear. And she was like, a, not ashamed of being a, a woman, but she, she was like thinking that he wouldn't fight for real just because she she was a girl. Uh, and yeah, I, I mean, Kirito would never be, uh, like hold, hold down because of that. Um, and I hope she realizes that like being a woman doesn't make her inferior to anyone else. Uh, and yeah, she can, she can be really strong and she is really strong and she needs to value that. Anyway, I really hope that, that they manage to, to save most of these Integrity Knights, because now we know what they are. And it would be, it would be nice if they could manage to solve this situation as much as possible. But that's going to probably happen way later in the anime. Anyway, it was a really nice episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to it. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. So, see ya.